Hey there everybody, my name is Kinder Moore. Welcome back for another video of Age of History 2. We're gonna continue this series, boys. I gotta be honest with you guys, I've already done this video before. I, I actually got uh while while I was recording, uh basically towards uh the end of the video, the whole thing went down. My electricity and everything went down, so uh the video got uh screwed up, I guess. No more video, so I gotta redo it again, boys, like five hours later, which is very fun indeed. Now, uh, that what I did during the actually last video, I decided to change uh, country. Uh, the way it's done is you can go, there's a glitch, some type of glitch that you can do in this game, which is very fun. You, can, you guys can do it if you want. If you want to switch countries, but keep the same scenario. All you need to do is select, load the games, uh, save that, uh, the log load the game that you have, the current save file that you got. Uh, uh, once you're in, ex exit the main menu, all the way to the main menu, go to the editor uh, uh, thing, and then hop back from the editor. Don't press anything, just hop back from the editor, hop into game, new game. And then you're going to be in the same scenario. Don't touch anything else right there. Just you're going to be in the same scenario where you were already playing and you can switch countries however you like. Now, um, in the last video that I did, I chose to be the Asni, uh, uh, Isani boys. Now, the way I want to do things is every hundred years, we're going to switch countries. That's the how I'm going to do it via the glitch and everything. We're going to keep the same scenario, but I'm going to switch countries and uh, from different continents. Uh, it's going to be four different continents. We started. We started in uh, America, in the Americas, which I'm going to count all of it as the Americas. Uh, now we're going to be in Europe. I'm choosing to be the Iceni boys because I do want to be. Um, I guess I, I want to be England, right? I want to be able to be England and stuff. The next up is going to be Asia, and uh, the, that whole sphere, and then it's Africa uh, dead last. So. We are going to be the Asani. Actually, you know what? Because I, I was the Asani last time, I'm going to change it up. And I'm actually going to be someone that uh, we might know of. I'm going to be the Picks. Why not? Let's be the Picks, boys. Are they at war with right now? We, they are at war with the IS, uh, IST, which I don't know who they are. But we're going to choose the Picks. Uh, the, uh, this is going to be the guys we're going to choose. Uh, Fog of War Classic, like that. Game speed is fine. Let's put it aggressiveness at 200 boys. Sandbox mode, echo colonization is uh, fine. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. I hope I did the right thing. I hope I didn't uh, press anything wrong. Okay, I'm gonna have to do uh, everything again. Uh, there, there we go, just like that. Make sure that it's sandbox mode. All right, we're good. Let's hop on in as the pigs boys. Uh, we're in the year 396, which basically means that um, during the year 500 and a little bit past that, we're going to be switching for uh, Asia and stuff like that. But for now, we're focusing on brand new country. Now, the one thing that is uh, is fun about all this as well is it gives us like we have a certain amount of time that we need to do things in order to uh, move, right? Move properly and stuff. If we want to be able to do stuff properly, you know, you got to we, we actually got to invade people and do it quickly. So that's why it's very important for us to be able to get the ports, modify a country quick and go and um, go into war with the other countries. Now, obviously we can't go to war until the four first turns. So the fifth turn, we're going to be able to go to war against people or challenge them and stuff like that. So we are going to have to wait it out a little bit, boys. This little isle right there, Stoneway or Stoneway, I guess, counts as its own little province, I guess interesting is only a region i am gonna modify all of this uh buy all these things right here and get the soldiers because it's going to be a, a bunch of ports i'm only going to focus on library supply camps the only place i'm going to build everything is going to be the capital which is i've already done that uh, there's a fort right here i need a farm and everything library and supply camp i'm building a port everywhere boys so I can get as many ar armies as possible. I can justify having armies there. Uh, Glasgow, you are going to get library, farms, ports and everything. Okay, so everything in there and get some armies. So in the next turn, you're going to see we're going to be very powerful. We can already uh, put ourselves at 80%. 
I kind of want to... We got military access for Phrygia. Who is the ISD? I am intrigued right now. So who are they? These guys. Okay, so these are the guys we're at war with. Uh, can I make peace with them? Ooh, I couldn't really make peace with them because I would have to actually... Uh, give them stuff probably so I can't make peace right away we're gonna have to wait it out this counts as his own thing as well and there's lots of little lands and stuff like that that count as their own little um, uh, provinces and stuff that's very interesting we can also move out into the north which I'm tempted to do I think I'm gonna do that send uh, half of these forces and send them into colonization mode and colonize this right here Norway modern Norway and colonize the Americas right have our first I guess civilized uh, European civilizations to colonize the Americas should be the Scottish why not why not boys so our, our military access with Frisia is done we are going to do 75% uh, like we did with the Aztecs and uh, now it's time to do our thing that we said we were going to do so let's send half of all these forces right here like that half of all of them we're going to send them in there and they're going to be uh, having they're gonna have the job of basically colonizing the entire thing so they're gonna be colonizing I'm, I'm sending a lot of forces because I want to make sure that it's a substantial amount of force that I'm uh, sending in there to help out uh, the war efforts and stuff like that it seems like we are good I could always send some troops over as well oh it looks like these territories are actually mine right here Oh, I've got some territories in Denmark as well, boys. I didn't even notice that. All right, so we already have some f uh, some land on the Norway side, which means we can definitely send some troops over uh, once they're built. So I don't even need to send them from uh, the Norway part. Okay, I got you, Dan. Uh, we are going to get the farms and ports over here. Even though it's not uh, exactly my land just yet, I am going to do it. Okay, so yeah, once these guys are built up, we're going to be able to go into uh, Frasia right there. Okay, that's interesting. We do have an option right here, boys. Okay, let's stop. Technology point right away for us. They worked a lot on economy, income, and everything. I'm going to make sure the income is at 10. There we go. At least there's that. Let's put it at 75% right here. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so these troops, now we're in there. Which means we can actually colonize. We're going to colonize this little uh, land right here. We are going to give him a port, a farm, and everything. All the good stuff, boys. Give it uh, everything. We are also going to colonize this little part of the land right here. There we go. Just like that. Ports, farms, everything, boys. I am going to, before going towards the Americas in Iceland, I am going to go and move towards this location right here. And we are going to settle... In Norway first I think that's what I want to do boys that's the first thing I want to do for sure uh, we're gonna send some troops over here half of my troops I cannot send either troops right there I'm gonna have to keep these troops there I guess then but I can't do anything else with them it looks like that's about it I don't I don't think uh, a thousand soldiers is gonna be enough there but that's all I can muster right now I don't want to have to focus too much on that uh, on that war against uh, the ISD boys so let's uh, go at 75 for 74 percent should be enough we're gonna start colonizing this place as well unless I kind of want to focus on the war effort first so let's just go actually I can colonize this right here let me colonize these little lands because we uh, we might as well they're right there it's an option let's uh let's do that first make sure that uh, we do that and we get those um, those free territories boys just like this place as well you know i see some land i can colonize i'll do it for sure it's uh free territories for me free real estates uh basically so supply camps and everything and we're all getting building all this okay this truth my troops now sending him over there next turn of me there okay so we got some troops getting sent over here uh, i i want to see really quick what type of country what type we are a monarchy okay um are we at war with anybody else no not really we got a bunch of enemies people that don't like us in general but i think we don't need to worry about them at all so for the rest we're pretty much good over here as it is we are going to settle first in the mountains right here in alcinium or whatever you want to call it we are going to put uh farm sports and everything in there 
So uh, first colonization boys are of a different plan if you want to call it uh, like that. We're colonizing right here. And I can actually send my troops over here now just because I've actually uh, got some actual land. Like I, I've, I've got a, a foot on, the, on that land, which is really good. Okay, so that, now we got that. We got these troops right here. We are actually going to keep going for that uh, 75%. Good. All right, so we are building up our thing. Now we're officially in turn five, but since I am at war already with the ISD, uh, I want to see, can I... No, I need to get some of their territories first. If I want to get a peace deal, successful uh, peace deal and stuff. So half of you uh, guys are going to go there and the, uh, and the other half is going to go into their capital, I guess. That's what we're going to do. That's our first assault right there. We are going to take out... Well, I can't take that territory right there. I'm not close enough. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we uh, What we're going to do, I guess, then, is there is some sort of war effort right here. Is this because there's a war? Am I allied with these guys? I don't know if I'm actually allied with these guys. I don't know why. I, I guess it's just us seeing the actual wars going on. So they're being attacked by somebody. Uh, we're just going to keep moving right here. We're going to keep expanding, colonizing everywhere. Get some territories right here. Get some uh, territories in that one as well. There we go. Just expand on the shores right here. Expand our empire really quick. We're going to create definitely an empire. Now, my main goal was eventually to, will eventually be to create the, to uh, form up the entire British Isles and maybe get the British Empire, you know, uh, form it up as, as much as we can during 100 years. Uh, if we can do that, that's definitely my main, um, my main objective. Let's take a look at our war effort. Uh, they do have some armies protecting their borders, but we managed to pass by. The capital is well fortified, though, so we did we couldn't do anything about that. So there's, a, there's not quite a lot we are going to be able to do. We do have the advantage, it looks like. Look at that. We do have the advantage. I can press for peace negotiations, which I'm kind of tempted to do. I'm kind of... Uh, how many points? I've got nine points, so I can take both of these lands. Uh, I am, which I am going to do. I'm going to take uh, both of these. And get a truce for... 50 turns, I guess. There we go. 50 turns. I uh, got a truce. Yeah, that's it. That, that sounds right for me. That sounds right for me, boys. I'm going to take these two lands that I just got, I guess. That's how it's going to work. Uh, for the rest, uh, am I searching? No, I'm not researching the technology. I'm, I need to do that. There we go. And uh, we are next turn, we should be at peace with the ISD. It should work out just fine. We are going to continue expand. So I'm going to expand a little bit more north. I can't actually go there just yet, but... Let me go up the hills right here to Stavanger, actually. There we go. Getting a lot of stuff, boys. Just from that. And my army here is just sitting there. Just chilling, boys. And I can't do anything else. I can't uh, settle anywhere else. So let's go up to the next turn. Uh, farms and everything. Libraries, supply camps is going to be the uh, big uh, the big time research focus for this one. So we got some foot on basically russia almost right there so got some strange lands i mean we're kind of scattered all over the place right here uh which is not really what i intended to have as a an empire but we're doing with what we got i guess uh early on we are gonna do uh we're gonna make do with all the land they're giving us right that, that is given to us so obviously the first thing we are gonna do is i'm gonna stop expanding really quick i'm gonna keep that for now uh, I'm going to go to, to the next turn. Yeah, and I'm going to start attacking this because I want the actual British Isle to be my mainland. And I want to expand in the main, uh, mainland itself, boys. So that is what I'm going to uh, do for sure. So in order to do that, I, uh, I'm going to first target these guys. So I need to send uh, them a no, uh, an insult and stuff. Two times I need to do that. And uh, I should have enough yet to do uh, an ultimatum. So we are going to do that. Send them an ultimatum, boys. Just like that. And next turn, they should accept. There we go. They accepted. So they're a part of us now. We are going to assimilate them really quick. There we go. And uh, we're going to get some troops. And build, build up the supply camp. Workshop and farm level 2. We do have a point. Technology point as well. Let's spend in, in the research. Uh, I think it's definitely better if we do that. And we still got enough points. So when we got enough points to do so, uh, to do colonization, we'll do it. It's just uh, I'm, my main focus is obviously going to be 
on uh, the British Isles side. But now we can do that. So let's do that. Let's colonize this little land right here. We're actually not going to get any troops. Uh, we're getting some base troops, which I'm going to send right away to uh, this one right here, I guess. Uh, I don't need to have any troops there because there's nobody boring this, uh, bordering us over there. Uh, workshop, no, I don't want that. I think we're good, boys. Let's uh, go into the next turn. We're already in turn 10, as you can see, which is fantastic for us. We are doing very good, boys. Uh, now, we got 2.3, so we don't have quite enough to go to war against anybody. Do we have... We are kind of very friendly to uh, the people here. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to have enough for this turn alone. We're going to have enough to do the ultimatum. We're going to ask them to give us all the territories they've got. I think that's about all, uh, all of it. They've got three separate territories, provinces. We're going to do that. Skip to the next turn again. Just like that. And they gave it to us as well. Pretty easy, boys. 99% uh, of the ch uh, time, the, uh, the AI will give the territory to you. I, I, I guarantee you, boys, it's better to save your points and go for the ultimatum. So do you don't even need to go for war. You know, you can just literally ask them, ask them to uh, get annexed and stuff. It, it usually works 100% of the time. Uh, get the libraries and everything over, over there. Library camp and everything. Supply camp. Good. So we got, um, we got basically, I can keep these troops there because they're all on shore. So they're all um, on ports, which is very good for us. Let's keep uh, going for the next turn. We're turn 13 already. 75% right there for the, the technology researches. Uh, we got 2.4 points. How are we right here? Very friendly with uh, the uh, Iceni. Which I don't want to go to war just yet uh, against them. I'm going to wait it out until I did take care of these guys right here instead. So I am going to do that. Uh, I'm going to... I need to make myself some enemies right here. I'm too... I'm way too friendly with all of them. Way too friendly with all of them. So I need to spend all my points trying to piss them off basically. So I can actually get something done. I still have 1.6 uh, points left. We could go for Oslo actually get Oslo but I'm gonna go for this instead I'm gonna colonize this right here I actually no I don't want uh, any troops there let's just send this one right here get the farms going libraries and supply camps as always uh, we are working on the technology yes all right next turn boys we are doing so good we're moving quite fast as you can see we're already in 20 years past so that's tw uh, 20 years we managed to get all of this which you can see I can do a lot in 20 years. Uh, quite a lot. I still don't have enough to give them an ultimatum. So I am going to need to wait another turn I guess. I, mean, I guess in the meantime we might as well just keep colonizing. Because that's about the only thing I can do. I can't do anything with that uh, unit right there. So uh, we might as well just send him over there. And get some farms, uh, libraries and supply camps. And we don't have any more points, enough points for the rest. There we go. And now I have three, uh, three points, three tech, uh, three diplomacy points to do something. So I'm definitely going to use it. I've got a um, technology point. I'm going to put it on research once again. And uh, I, we can send the ultimatum now to the brigands, which we are going to do. So ultimatum to you, buddy. Uh, let's give you that. Next turn, you should be able to accept that. We're going to annex you. And there we go. We're in the next turn. It did happen once again. We annex these guys. We don't even need to do any wars, boys. It's just happening really fast. It's really good for us as well. Yeah, we're going to spend some points to assimilate people. Uh, libraries, supply camps, and everything. Uh, you can bet that once I get to London, though, London is going to become my capital. But for now, I am going to keep um, uh, Dundee as my capital. I don't want to switch anything up for no reason. Feel like Dante is fine as a capital in in of itself. Uh, we got the farms and supply camps we need to do, and some armies right there. Okay, so that's about it. We still have enough points to colonize Oslo, which we are gonna do. Let's colonize Oslo, boys, just like that. And we're, uh, that's giving us a lot of soldiers. Oslo does have a, a big levy available. That's really good for us, boys, early on. Okay, and that's yeah, that's it. Let's go, boys. Let's continue. 
until turn 20 at turn 20 we'll look at the well every end of the turn every end of the video i guess we'll take a look at uh, how the world um, looks let's just see really quick right here diplomacy points i don't have enough to do anything am i still very friendly with these guys no so i can i'm not friendly with them so i'm going to be able to uh next turn just attack them so i can spend points actually uh proper points um doing uh, going further into this territory which i'm gonna do i'm gonna colonize this place first uh, i can send some soldiers over there because it's gonna have a port and uh, and farms and, and everything good and i can't colonize anything else so turn 18 right now there we go 75 of research we're gonna do right away the uh, we're gonna ask these guys to actually give us uh we're gonna give them an ultimatum and stuff and I think that's the only territory they've got, right? Yeah, that's about the only territory they've got. So we're just going to send the ultimatum right here just like that. Skip to the next turn. And there we go. We just annexed them. Easy as day, boys. Clearly easy. The easiest thing we got to do, basically. There's, it's super easy to annex people in this game. Well, I like it. And this is why I want to switch countries. Because every time, because once you get to Europe, you get to countries like these well developed already monarchies uh, you're going to be able to do a lot and annex everyone easily so i just want to be able to switch from continent over and over again uh, every 100 years because i want uh challenges right i want to be able to create new empires myself it looks like the han might have been defeated right here it looks like uh, they're over it or they still at war they're still at war with each other but they're basically done for the han only has this little island right there left uh so the mongolians are super strong boys and the romans are basically dead by now so wow that uh, that's that's very scary the mongolians are super scary boys someone's gonna have to put a stop to them and that is gonna be in the year 500s i'm gonna take someone and try and stop them as much as i can i guess uh we uh, on our end though have enough points to maybe assimilate somebody else i can't like do an ultimatum uh, i gotta send a, an insult to these guys because otherwise i'm not gonna be able to send an ultimatum or anything there we go next turn we're gonna be able to do that so let's uh colonize the uh, this uh, place right here in the meanwhile in the meantime there we go get some soldiers four ports and everything libraries and supply camps just like that all right can see our empire growing quite nicely we got the picks right here um is there a main objective that we can actually do uh usually when there's an actual main objective we it tells us right here where we can actually get the british like form the british empire or something like that it is an objective it is a a thing that you can do i don't think it's an option right now though i don't know what it's going to take maybe i gotta actually take everything uh I, i'm not sure boys but we do have an extra diplomacy point. Let's put it in administration. Why not? Uh, I don't have enough to do the ultimatum once again. So we got to have to wait it out. So I guess while we're waiting it out, let's keep uh, colonizing this land right here, boys. Nothing else we, uh, we can do really. So we might as well expand in uh, colonization wise. I did not expect Scot uh, the Scottish to have a Norway colonization land. And so far up the north as well and everything. There, uh, we're doing so well. Uh, we're in the next turn, which we have enough now to go for the the ultimatum, which we're going to do. Send, uh, there we go, investments probably. We're in turn 20 as well. Let's send the ultimatum to these guys. They're probably going to accept like everyone else. Now they do have five territories. That's quite a lot. That's five provinces, boys. So that's a huge deal right there. If they accept which they did they did accept to be annexed um that's a huge deal right there it really is so uh i guess now i gotta focus on all of them i gotta get troops uh, troops about as much of everywhere as i can uh get the supply camps and everything and also i gotta assimilate all of them just think about that i also gotta assimilate all of them i don't know if i ha even had enough points right there to do that i can get some troops right there because they are bordering the Assini which is really good uh we yeah i can get some troops everywhere right here really good okay uh let me just uh get everything for the cities really quick okay so i built up the army for the troops and everything so 
next turn we're gonna have everything on our end we are good all right so everything's good uh do we still have yeah this territory right here we're not assimilating him so we're gonna have to spend points i had enough points before that to send an ultimatum to the Assini, but uh now i don't have any more enough uh enough of those so i might as well connect these two lands though i kind of need to do that I, I should do that so let's connect as much of our lands as possible right here so it doesn't look uh too ridiculous you know don't have any border war uh, border gore or anything compared to the geats which i actually don't know the geats are a monarchy so they can expand and colonize if they want it's just the ai doesn't do it at this point in time colonization is not really that the Assini wants military access into our territory we're going to refuse uh just because uh, we are about to uh send them an ultimatum soon enough so we uh, do not want them to be in our territory and stuff like that we got a point let's spend in the administration once again uh guarantee to work for that there we go the researches we have a trade request with the Assini. what do they want military access and they were gonna give us gold they really want the military access all right let's let's accept that we're gonna accept they, they they have military access but for how long really because i'm just gonna annex them i have enough points to do it so oh we are very friendly with them well i guess not never mind boys i am gonna have to send some insult towards them i guess keep insulting them until i can actually do something proper i don't think i'm gonna have enough to send an ultimatum i actually do even with uh, all of this i actually do so they have provinces as well they also have five provinces this is also going to be a huge jump so annexing these uh, big territories these big lands it's going to be a huge deal and there it is there it is boy so we just annexed the Iceni, which means that um we got most of england by now we definitely have most of england so we're doing very well right here there's still some lands i guess i'm guessing that um, need to be assimilated for the next turn which we are going to do when we have the chance now there's one thing i can keep these there these troops there they're still bordering this one is not bordering anybody anymore so you know i could send him right here i'm gonna actually reinforce this uh cambridge right here i'm gonna reinforce it uh real quick that should be good enough let's go into the next turn boys turn uh, 26 uh we got some still yeah so norwich is the only one that was left so we almost made it all up for everyone uh good so now that we got norwich right here there's another another people that wants a vandals wants some uh to tr uh, trade with us uh which i could accept why not i could uh, kind of accept i did forget to build norwich a little bit right there that's kind of my bad right there Okay, so I think we're good. We have enough points to do something. I think what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to... What did, What do they want? Form a coalition against Sudetland? Is that it? Oh, Swebby. Swebby, that's it. Okay, yeah. So they want me to form a coalition against them. So being basically an alliance, military alliance, attack both together, attack these. But what I, I, won't, I won't accept that. I'm going to refuse because... I don't even have any bordering lands with them. How do you want me to get there? Maybe I could get into your territories, I guess. Uh, do I have actually access to you? I probably do, right? Non-aggression pack. I don't even have anything with them. So I don't even know why they would want me to help them out. I would have to have military access or something into their territories, their land. They're not giving that to me right now. So I don't see the point in me just going in there, you know? So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we've got London, which is the next thing I want to do. I want to attack these guys. So we are going to send a couple of insults towards them. Uh, so that in the next turn, we're going to be able to do an ultimatum and everything. Uh, there we go. And we have enough points to do uh, one tile of colonization. Colonize one tile. So we're going to do that for this one. Colonize this little uh, tile right here, this land. Get the port, the farms, libraries and supply camps and everything. We are doing very good, boys. We're going to do one last turn. One more turn. Why not? There we go. This is going to be right here. It's going to be our next, uh, our last turn. Unless, you know what? Two more turns because I am going to annex these fools. So I kind of want to make sure to um, that, uh, that uh, I do uh, work with properly with my troops. I, I want to make sure that my provinces I'm going to gain are dealt with properly. 
So we're gonna do that and we don't have enough points So let's jump on into the next turn and there we go. Like I said, London is now ours Just like that via annexation like the all the others We got some points right here. Let's get administration We have a couple of um, uh, Assimilation to do let me make sure that we get everyone. Yes, we managed to we had enough points to assimilate four different regions we are gonna do put a bunch of soldiers in different lands and stuff like that let me do the supply camps the farms everything that we need all right so i got some troops getting there in oxford obviously because we are bordering these guys the uh, atribada uh, we are gonna do what we're gonna do here is we're gonna send our move our capital no 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 i want to move it no 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 move to london there we go new capital london boys London is officially our brand new capital right here. Uh, it's going to be in the main center of our capital. Now, here's the thing. It's still, I still don't see any focus that tells me like I can go for the British uh, Empire or anything. So we're still going to have to wait it out. I imagine once I get this, I'm going to try and create it as much as I can at least. Maybe via a cheat or something. I'm going to try and do it. Uh, we need to send these troops. They're not bothering anybody anymore. Let's send them over London. So, like secure i guess our borders for uh, our capital and stuff which is pretty well uh, pretty undefended right now so badly undefended so we got to do something about that all right so i think that's pretty much it boys i think we are doing very good um the war mostly in uh, asia for the Han dynasties versus the mongolians is pretty much over with i don't think it's really worth that much i think the Han dynasty is definitely dead Roman Empire, same thing. They're basically out of Europe altogether. They're only in Africa at this point. So two uh, empires just fell apart. And then, uh, one of them is grew up big time. There's also these guys right here, the Kanju, which I might do. At turn 500, this, these are the guys that I might be tempted to go as, uh, play as, or maybe just the Kyang, anybody in Asia, really. Maybe try and form up uh, Japan as well. You never know like do something um it's gonna be fun well for now for the next video we're gonna stick with the picks try and create the british uh empire boys remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy